Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series, it's all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're going to talk about how to express yourself in your relationships. And this is something that I battled with for a very, very long time and still kind of do sometimes. So what I have figured out for myself is that oftentimes when we hold back on expressing ourselves, it's because we're not standing firmly in our truth. Sometimes we're unsure about how we actually feel or we're unsure about what we actually want and the decision that we want to make. So we can tend to hold back in those kind of circumstances. And then the other side of it is that we're afraid of what they're gonna say, how they'll react and what they'll think about what it is that we have to say. So it's like an inner battle within yourself and then you also start fearing the external and the other people and the way that I've really worked through this is in getting comfortable with myself and really getting clear on what I want what my values are what's right for me in a connection because when it comes to communicating with your partner you're trying to tell them what you need and who you are and what you want but you have to be clear on those things first within yourself before you can express them so a lot of the time when I would try to express myself I wasn't really clear on what I actually wanted so I didn't know how to express it and then when I was clear I was absolutely terrified that I would be rejected and that they would shun me and my truth or tell me that I was too much or exaggerating or being over the top or something like that you know so it really is a case of getting comfortable within yourself and within your truth and then being brave enough to be able to express that in a way where it doesn't matter if the other person rejects you or not because you stand firmly in your truth and you know that what you need is what you need and you are worthy of having those needs met and if that other person rejects you or can't meet those needs for whatever reason that you're okay with that and that you stand firmly in your truth and in what you need and you will let that person go because you will shift your focus back to yourself and wait for the right person who can meet your needs and to be able to do that you need to have so much belief in yourself to be able to trust that what's meant for you will always be yours. And if a person is not in alignment because they cannot meet your needs, then you have to let them go. So to be able to let them go or to be able to allow that interaction to unfold in however it needs without fearing what they're gonna say, you know, to be able to express yourself and let that happen and not worry about what the other person will say or how they'll respond to it to to be able to stand in that and still express yourself that requires a bit of self-belief which means spending time with yourself doing your shadow work getting comfortable in yourself enough to be able to express yourself and really becoming comfortable in who you are and what you need so as always it comes down to being by yourself it comes down to spending time with yourself, with your thoughts, with your belief system and getting to know it, getting to know why you fear expressing yourself, getting to know where that fear actually comes from. Like, have you been rejected in the past? Because if you have, then it's probably a trauma response now to not want to express yourself, you know? All of our experiences that we go through throughout life create like emotional signatures within our body so if somebody rejects you or they tell you that whatever you've just said when you expressed yourself is not good enough then you're going to take on that emotional pattern and then every time you go to express yourself you're literally going to relive that memory so that past memory then kind of gets brought into the current one and now you're fearing expressing yourself with somebody else because of what happened in the past and this happens a lot in so so many ways in so many areas of our lives but once you become aware of that fact and you trace back the fear that you're feeling trace it back to old memories you'll then know why it is that you're afraid to express yourself now and you can do this with everything not just self-expression but now you'll know exactly why you're afraid of it and then you can start to rewrite that story in the fact that you are safe you are okay to actually express yourself like it is okay to say how you feel 
and say what you need and communicate with your partner is actually kind of essential because that's what a relationship is. You need to be able to talk to each other. So really working through those fears to understand where they come from so that you can see that they're a lie and that they're not real, they're not true. They're just what somebody else has said to you in the past. And once you realize that it's just what somebody else has said, and not actually something that's true, you can then start to rewrite that and validate yourself and instill more self-esteem by being kinder to yourself and by telling yourself that you are worthy. And then also communicating with your partner. It's good to actually tell them that you're afraid of speaking your truth, like literally letting them know that you want to express yourself for that it's kind of scary to do so. And and if they're in alignment with you and if they are self-aware as well, then they will give you the space and support and encouragement to open up, you know, like they'll tell you that you're safe and that they're not gonna judge you. They just wanna know how you feel. So it's kind of like a give and take with that as well. And you can also do that for them if they tell you that they're kind of find it difficult to express themselves, you know? We all go through this. It's a perfectly normal fear to feel, especially if you've been through some experiences where you were put down and belittled and stuff when you did try to open up. So it's a completely normal fear to have and you can work through it. You just need to be able to build your self-esteem and get comfortable in yourself again. And of course, that is a wonderful daily process. But baby steps, you take it one day at a time, one moment at a time, whenever you feel like you need to say something, you can stand with yourself first and say it to yourself first and talk yourself through it first before communicating it to somebody else so that you know exactly what it is that you wanna say. And then you can go to them and slowly try to say more each time, you know? Like you might just say one little thing first and then gradually you'll keep having more and more conversations and just get more and more comfortable within yourself. You can also do lots of things like mirror work and things like that, but I think I'm gonna save that for another video where I talk about how to build your self-esteem. I will definitely write that down. That can be another video to talk about because it's very important. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below if you have any more suggestions and you can also DM me on Instagram or you can text or WhatsApp me. I'll have all of my info in the description box below as well as links to my music and my jewelry brand. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I nearly forgot what else I needed to say. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself.